If you're in the market for screen protectors, Spigen seems to be the option we c continually come back to time and time again. With their attention to detail when it comes to surface feel, correct cutout placement, and no spray adhesives, Spigen's name is up there with the best. Many consumers have a tough time constituting why they need a screen protector, and we're here to tell you that Spigen's ultra oleophobic protector is that constitution. What comes in the box? First we have our microfiber towel, everyone knows what that does, your basic squeegee, your serial number to register online, a few dust removal, removal stickers, and then we have the screen protector. Upon application, we took the screen protector out, we took off our number one removal sticker, which is the back side, and we used what we call the banana method. And basically, this is an idea that we, me and my brother came up with that would line up both the home button and your microphone at the same time so you don't have one off. You would, you would bend it in the middle so you create a crease down the middle and you would line up both at the same time and the application of adhesive would start in the middle and then spread its way back out. After this has been installed, you will then use the dust removal stickers which come in handy and they're a reason they're in there. You put them on the corners of the device and pick up the screen protector and use the other one to come underneath the screen protector and remove any debris that is underneath there. You press it down on top and then you pull it out. This will remove all dust from the screen protector. Then once that's done you'll push out all air bubbles with your squeegee and once that's done, your application is complete. I've had the ultra, ultra oleophobic resistant coating on there for about a week now, and I've noticed that it's much more clean than the Ultra Crystal, also offered by Spigen. Now, it's not quite as thick as the Ultra Crystal, but we have noticed that this isn't so bad because it does cut down on oil that's placed on the screen by fingerprints and placing the phone up to your face when you make phone calls or for those girls out there who wear a lot of makeup and their skin gets oily. As mentioned before, this iPhone 5 has the ultra oleophobic. And right here I have my Nexus 5 that my brother owns that we use the ultra crystal because they didn't have the ultra oleophobic when the Nexus 5 came out. After about a month of use on this Nexus 5 compared to the iPhone 5 and the ultra oleophobic, We've noticed, and if you can see here, that the Ultra Crystal shows a lot more fingerprints. If you can see in the light, there's a lot much more oil that collects on the screen protector itself compared to this Ultra Oleophobic. See, I can press on here. Now, it does smudge a little bit, but you notice that the amount of oil that stays on there isn't quite as, as significant as the Ultra Crystal. Now Overall, we really enjoyed this screen protector. It'll definitely be going on all our future devices. Now, if you want to get one of these, you can pick it up on Amazon for around $11 or $12 or go directly to Spigen's website at Spigen.com. And you can pick that around up for around $14, I believe. Now, we don't see much better value in the marketplace for screen protectors than Spigen's. You get two screen protectors for that low price around $10, $15, and you maintain the feel of your actual screen, you don't lose clarity, and it keeps your screen protected. We really hope you enjoyed our product review. Please like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram in the link below. Till the next video, stay classy.